Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. UFOs, the search for alien life, settling among the stars. These have been really hot topics lately, especially with notable scientists stepping out and voicing their belief that not only alien life exists, but intelligent alien life exists. We've also got NASA basically promising that we will find alien life in the next 10 or 20 years. So it seems like the answer of whether we are alone in the universe is looking more and more like a solid no. But according to a team of astrophysicists at Northwestern University, maybe we have found alien life already and they're right here on earth and if you want to see one well you can just look in the mirror the study which was published in the monthly notices of Royal Astronomical Society says that almost half of all matter from the Milky Way including us may actually be from far away parts of the universe and when stars over there turn supernova and explode basically we were thrown here on the backs of strong interstellar winds and according to dr. Daniel Inglis Alcazar the researcher who led the study given how much of the matter out of which we formed may have come from other galaxies we could consider ourselves space travelers or extragalactic immigrants. It is likely that much of the Milky Way's matter was in other galaxies before it was kicked out by a powerful wind, it traveled across intergalactic space, and eventually found its new home in the Milky Way. So here's how the researchers came to this conclusion. In the analysis, scientists created an intricate computer simulation to recreate the evolution of galaxies over time from the Big Bang. And again, according to Dr. Inglis Alcazar, we ran highly sophisticated simulations looking at the formation of galaxies from shortly after the Big Bang and traced their development to today. We found that when we completed these simulations, we could say that the atoms which formed the solar system and so which form us may have existed in other galaxies. Basically, if this new model is accurate, it will imply, like I mentioned before, that almost half of the atoms in the galaxy, so essentially everything around us, including us, did not actually come from the Milky Way, but from galaxies up to a million light years away. And and even though atoms travel at very accelerated speeds, it's still going to take billions of years to get here. And I guess if all that is true, my question is, can I claim benefits for being, you know, like an interstellar refugee? But seriously, if this is the case, if we were blown here from some other parts of the universe, that means the intergalactic wind would have blew other atoms to other parts of the universe, right? So just an interesting story I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know what you think about this study in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.